Hey, I'm Danny Glover with the Glover Law Firm. I appreciate you checking out the website. Uh, the page you're on now uh, is a page uh, with just general information uh, about criminal charges. I encourage you to browse through the rest of the website, check out some of the blog posts if you have more specific questions, or feel free to email me at danny at dannygloverlawfirm.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, but what I'd like to do is to talk uh, about the representation of someone charged with a crime. Uh, what is the process? How does it work? Uh, oftentimes I'll get a call from a family member and their son or their husband uh, has been arrested uh, and they need a lawyer but they don't know what to do. Well, if that person is in jail, then the first step would be to actually pay a retainer and then I can go to the jail and meet with um, your friend or, or family member to find out what's going on. Uh, what's he been charged with? I'll look at the paperwork. I will talk to uh, the person and find out what the circumstances, what the facts are, uh, and then we'll begin trying to figure out uh, the best and fastest way to get a bond set and posted so that the person can then get out of jail uh, until trial. Uh, if the person is not in jail, then the first step would be to come in for an appointment. Uh, now that consultation is free. Uh, I meet with the person who's actually been accused of the crime and anyone else who or she wants to bring with them. And we talk about uh, background, job, school, family, uh, the charges, what happened, um, so that I can get a good feel for exactly what I'm dealing with, how this is going to impact you, what's going to be necessary to defend you, uh, and get the best possible outcome for you. Uh, we'll talk about the court process, what's going to happen in the courtroom the day you go to court, uh, how we're going to handle the various uh, hearings such as first appearance or probable cause hearing or administrative sessions, uh, filing motions, that uh, pretrial motions that may be necessary, uh, whether or not you're going to have to testify, when you're going to have to testify. Um, if you are going to have to testify, then getting you ready for that. Um, if we are still dealing with the, the bond, then figuring out what property or money is going to be necessary to post the bond so that the person can get out of jail and work and support his family, um, pay his court costs, legal fees, whatever it is that uh, he's dealing with or she's dealing with. Uh, and then once we start going to court, uh, I will talk to the officers involved, talk to the detectives, find out uh, from their perspective what's happening. Uh, most times our prosecutor will give to us what's called discovery. That is all the evidence and paperwork and reports and lab analysis reports and videotapes and, and uh, dash cam videos and body cam videos. Whatever evidence they have, they will typically give to us at some point. Now in misdemeanors, uh, they don't have to do that ahead of trial, although they frequently will. In felonies, we won't get that discovery until the case is transferred from lower district court to superior court, whether that's through a probable cause hearing, and frankly those rarely happen, uh, or a grand jury indictment, uh, which is the more common way for felonies to get transferred from district court to superior court. Uh, and I will explain that whole process to you uh, so that you know exactly what to expect, uh, when to expect it, uh, and how we're going to handle each step in the process while we work together uh, to accomplish the best possible outcome for you, whether that's a not guilty plea in a trial or whether that's some sort of plea bargain uh, for reduced charges or reduced punishment. Um, so if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to call me, 252-299-5300. Uh, 
you may email me at danny at dannygloverlawfirm.com. Uh, but if you or a loved one or a friend have been charged with a crime, uh, be happy to help you.